Hi, I'm Don. Today we're painting this Haster miniature from the Cthulhu Death May Die by Simon Games. You'll see in this video that we did the painting of the underpainting with an airbrush and then after the airbrushing of the underpainting, we'll be painting with oil paints from the base colors to the finish. I won't talk you through the painting of the miniature because I do that with my Patreon videos which is longer and is the proper tutorial version of this project. But I'll try to convince you with as I show the painting of this miniature, I'll try to convince you to add oil painting to your miniature painting arsenal. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. Also, this channel won't be possible without the support of my patrons. As I've said earlier in the intro, you'll see here that after painting the underpainting with the airbrush, I'll be painting the miniature from base color to finish to the highlights. So we're not talking about oil paints or oil painting as per like just oil washes, which everyone uses because it's like the best form of wash in my opinion. And we're not just showing you like burnt umber, black wash, and even purple washes. Because I'm showing you here the actual painting or painting with oil paints. Adding oil paints to your miniature painting arsenal won't like put your acrylic paints to waste. Like you see here, I use my acrylic paints for the underpainting. I must admit though, that once you get really good at oil painting miniatures, you won't really need the acrylics anymore. However, having acrylic underpainting will kind of like make your miniature painting with oil paints a little bit more efficient. For model painting, weathering, figure painting, and miniature painting, Oil washes or oils are best known as oil washes. You see a lot of oil washes, especially with the grim dark painters. They'll do a sludge wash or a heavy, like thick wash, and then they'll wipe off the wash. The sludge wash or heavy wash technique, and then wipe it off with like cloth or even cotton swabs will expose like your base colors and thus you could do with really nice acrylic base colors and then do the sludge wash but this is most effective if you spray like a gloss varnish or at least a satin varnish on top of your acrylic base colors before you do the sludge wash the varnish will help with like removal of the sludge wash on the raised areas of the model because if you have matte varnish or matte finish and then you do a sludge, a sludge wash or heavy wash the oils will kind of stain the model the miniature and thus it's not as effective unless you have a satin or gloss varnish on top of the acrylic base colors before you do the wash However, I am not a huge fan of the sludge wash technique or the heavy wash technique and then you wipe it off because I don't find it efficient. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of some grim dark painters. I'm just not a fan of the heavy wash and then wipe it off technique. But first, in case you're curious why I'm into oil painting so much these days, it's simply because it's summer here in the Philippines right now and my wet pilot kinda dries too fast and meaning I have to top it with water and then I have to revive paints or add very small like amount of paints on my wet palette and use that and once it's like all used up, I'll put a small amount again. So it's a bit of a hassle because of the weather. 
So I'm into oil painting these days because again, it's summer and the oil paints are very easy to like revive with Gamsol and the consistency of my thinning remains a bit long more it, it stays consistent longer way longer than when i'm painting with acrylics so i love my vallejos most especially my cuttlefish colors however it's just a bit more relaxing and a bit hassle-free to paint with oils in this weather Now, adding oils to your miniature painting arsenal won't really put your acrylic paints to waste because you want your miniature painting to be efficient. So you could use your acrylic paints for the underpainting or even the painting of the base colors. But in this video, you saw that I just used the acrylics via the airbrush as an underpainting. But there's a reason for that is well basically the reason for that is that i just want a nice underpainting for the yellow painting of the cloak as you see in the video and also the painting of the tentacles so i don't really want to paint the cloak yellow with the airbrush because i'll have yellow over spray all over the tentacles so i did not want that i just gave it a generic purple shade area and a flesh underpainting on top especially on the cloak area giving a nice underpainting for the yellow oil paint now if ever you decide to add oil paints to your miniature painting i would recommend the good brands because simply they, they they keep and retain the saturation and the vibrancy of the colors even after curing and the cheaper brands only work as washes in my opinion because the washes can be a bit more transparent with less pigment and can dry slower and you don't really need like especially if you're doing a grim dark look you don't need vibrancy with the washes you just need a dark burnt umber color or even a black wash so you could like get away with cheaper um, not acrylics cheaper oil paints for the washes but if you want vibrant finishes like what i'm doing here I highly recommend you go for the really good brands. Like I said earlier, oil washes or oil paints are better known for being washes, for being very good washes. Some companies even make like pre-thinned oil washes, but I do highly recommend oil tubes because they are more versatile. You could paint with them unlike like the pre-thinned oil washes, they're just washers. However, and this is a huge however, oil washes are great. You could blend easier with oil paints, but it is not well known that it's so much easier to do highlights with oil paints. If you like this video, the tutorial, the longer tutorial version is up at Patreon. Also, I want to thank all my patrons because without them, this channel won't be possible. So to summarize this video, oil washes are great. It's super fun to blend with oils. Wet blending is like automatic with oil paints base color especially with the gambling fast matte is also good with oil paints and if you use gamsol mineral spirit it makes the oils dry longer and i mean faster so it's really good for miniature painting but also oil paints are super great for highlighting because the consistency of your highlight oil paints remain consistent far longer than acrylics so much like airbrushes you don't really need an airbrush but you might want to have an airbrush to speed up your painting Oil paints will also speed up your painting in a way, especially if you get the hang of them. Honestly, I'll trade my airbrushes with a ton of oil paints any day. That's it, Pansit. 